Okay, all right, here we go. So tonight's homework for the big orange textbook, page 730, number 1, 2, 3, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now, uh, there is a particular type of question I would like to go over with you, which is subtraction, because it largely depends on borrowing. Okay, so that's why I think, you know, with adding, like, you know, with, uh, I don't even know, I actually do not know what that's called, All the carrying over, right, of um, places and tens and whatnot, right? I think you guys have a pretty good grasp on that. So I would rather focus on doing subtraction, okay, because I would think that if there were to be any problem, that that's where it's going to be. All right, so now these are nice because these are lined up for you. So we're going to do 1, 2, and 16 today. So let's see. Right? So these are lined up. What do I mean by lined up? What's lined up? The decimals are lined up. Right? So here, I'm going to place a zero here. All right? Kind of like a placeholder, not kind of. It's a place over there, right? So we have, now you can think of it like this. You can think what's 70 minus three. You can think like that. But if you think singularly, right, at this last digit, you could think, okay, zero can subtract three. So what happens? Right, you borrow one from the seven. So that makes this a 10. Now, I don't know. Again, I didn't really learn this growing up because I didn't grow up in this country, but I'm assuming you cross this out too. Okay, all right, that's... So 10 minus 3, that's 7. 6 minus 0, 6, right? So again, 70 minus 3 is 67. Bring the decimal down. Everything lines up, right? Uh, that's 3, and then that's it, 3.67. Okay, let's do 2. 1.08 minus, what is it? Uh, 1.08. Minus, oh, there you go, 0 0.9. Again, line the decimals up, so I was very tempted. I almost wrote 0 0.9 here. Can't do that. Oh, okay. All right, I see. Right here, I'm again, I'm going to use a different color marker. Put a 0 there so that you know that that wasn't in the original question. 8 minus 0 is 8. Uh, now, you, again, you can think like this, 10 minus 9, right? However, if you think singularly, you can cross this out, right? Because you want to borrow the one here. So that makes that nothing, right? And this becomes a 10. So 10 minus nine is one, right? Because look, 10 minus nine is one, right? So bring the decimal down, 0 0.18. Okay, so again, if you don't understand it, just rewind and watch it again, okay? 16 now, 16, I like 16, and this is why I kind of give you a mix of these questions, because these are lined up for you, these you got to line up yourself, so this is how you line up 16, 76.39, yeah, all right, now, again, there's going to be some boring involved, so that's good, all right? Now, there's no zero to place, right? There's no place over here, like here and here. So that's two. So here you got to borrow, right? So you got to borrow from the six. That turns into a five, and that turns into a 13, right? Now, let me just double-check the question, actually. I just want to make sure I'm, like, writing the question correctly. Let me look at my textbook. Let's see. Okay, all right. Now, 13 minus 4, that's 9. Bring the decimal down, right? Now, here you technically have 75 minus 8, right? And you, you can figure out what that is. But however, if you want to keep borrowing, so to speak, you can borrow 1 from the 7, so that becomes a 6. And this guy now becomes a 15, right? So 15 minus 8 is 7. And the 6 minus 0 or nothing, right, is 67.92. Okay, and that's it. All right, so uh, 
I hope this was able to help you with the homework, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good OMG, that was so good.